Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Let's Play Thief the Dark Project, brought to you on behalf of GameAnyone.com by Frozen Foxy. Today we're going to be doing what I believe to be one of the easiest missions there is in this entire game, but it can also very, very quickly become one of the hardest missions if you don't do it right. Let's go ahead and read about this mission. So this mission is called Undercover. As usual, we're playing on Expert, and our uh, first order of business is to enter the Hammerite Temple via the front entrance, because we've dressed ourselves up as a Hammerite novice. We've also got some papers that we can show to the people at the front that basically prove we are a Hammerite novice that needs to enter the temple. Now, as long as no one directly sees you doing anything, you can basically walk about this temple and do whatever you want to the guards. Um, you can knock them out, all that kind of stuff. But, if anyone has a line of sight on you whatsoever, you are basically caught. Doesn't matter if you're in the shadows or anything. If you uh, try to blackjack someone while you're in the shadows and someone apparently has a line of sight on you, well, they got you and uh, you're going down. Um, also, if you take something, then you're going down most of the time if it's in plain sight because uh, if a Hammerite sees something is missing they'll basically believe it's you because everyone blames the novice. Hey, you're the new guy. Um, and finally, if you open a door that has uh, an upside down red hammer in front of it, basically they uh, will say, hey, you're caught and we're coming after you. But that's only if you open the door in front of them. So um, it's a good idea to close a lot of the doors in this uh, in this mission. Anyways, our second order of business is to find and steal the Talisman of Air. We also need to steal the first hammer from the Hammerite Reclory. We need to uh, grab 2,400 loot while we're in the temple. We also don't want to kill anyone even though they're Hammerite scum. And finally, we need to return to the city streets. Alright, let's get this started. I can't say I like this mission as much as uh, many of the other missions, mainly because it's very confined and it doesn't feel like it's that big of a mission, as well as the fact that you really don't need to sneak too much in this mission if you're fairly careful, just because you can knock out pretty much everyone without them realizing that you're a thief. That kind of bothers me, I guess. I kind of like the uh, the whole sneaking aspect, so this is one of my least favorite missions, I have to say. I'll note up there that we have the, uh, the hammer for the front door. We're kind of just casing the place a little bit, but um, I think that's enough casing for the moment. We can technically go to the other side, but it's pretty much the same as this. Now, sometimes I get a little bit of a glitch here where, yeah, there we go, it won't, um, won't allow you to move forward. For one reason or another, it's um, acting like this is a wall, or maybe I'm lower than this thing, but if you jump up, it kind of knocks you back, but uh, if you jump just enough, it will eventually let you through. I don't know why that glitch happens, it's kind of annoying. But, um, that's really the only glitched part about this mission that I know of. Hopefully there's no other glitches that we run into, because it really seems like I've been running into a lot of glitches during this playthrough. Hey there, how's it going? Yeah? Present thy credentials, novice. Alright then. Yeah, after you stop whistling, dude. Here are my credentials. As approved by his eminence, the High Priest Markander, we deliver unto you this novice, under the standard agreement of service. The novice is sent with full status and training as such, and should serve with humility and vigor to the best of his skills. He will endure a standard three-year contract of service, at the end of which he will be considered for indoctrination as an elevated acolyte. 
The novice has been instructed in the rules and strictures of the order, and has sworn his warrants to be silent in his vigils while within the walls of the temple, and knows to maintain the marked privacies, as indicated by the standard inverted red hammer sigil. Please remit periodic evaluations of his conduct and as warranted, or at six months' intervals. I think I read that wrong, but whatever. May the hammer fall upon the unrighteous. Officially, Brother Satchelman. Open the gate! Thanks for whistling in my ear, asshole. Jeez. Now, if you're careful here, you can technically take out both of these guards really quickly. And then they will never, ever again be a problem. There we go. Just taking out the hammerhead trash. Foolishness proves its own punishment, but steam burns are a harsh punishment indeed. Dolan saith the boy shall live, but may leave the order. More foolishness! Fear never shows the true path, only the downslope to corruption. Mm. Right. Mm. Now, if you're quick about it, you can technically get this guy. But you have to be very careful, because uh, this temple over here does have a couple of guards in it. That will cause a problem. Even if they're turned away, that technically means that they have a line of sight, and they have heard you knock out someone. So this guy down here technically has a line of sight if I were to hit this guy while he's in the middle of the floor here. Thou wilt hearken to the designs the Builder has made, and keep his statutes. Thou wilt share in his triumphs. Blah 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 blah, <coughs> shut up. <coughs> and so we have gotten rid of another hammer. Our day seems much easier now. One less hammer to deal with. Now these on the side, while they're not marked with any kind of uh, upside down red hammer, are considered the barracks and off limits to novices. However, we can go in and uh, have them tell us so. Oh. Novices are not permitted here, brother. Best that thou depart before the master forgers take note. Sure, why not? But uh, I'll depart with your consciousness first. And we've rid ourselves of another of these annoying hammerites. Soon enough, we'll rid ourselves of all of them. Ah, taking out the trash is such hard work. Now, you may have noticed that I've been passing this little hammer here. Should I take this hammer, I would be caught. Because there's a lot of people that uh, like to traverse here, and if I open this door to this other barracks, then this hammer gets seen as missing and they're like, Thief, you've stolen something! And they come after you. That's always a major issue. Well, nothing really in here. Can definitely cut down these though. Which is good for amusement value, I suppose. What do we have here? I am a wall builder. Let my walls endure from season to season, year to year, and age to age. Let my walls stand while families toil, armies march, and empires fall. I am a wall builder, and my walls will stand as a shield against evil. This I pray that the master builder will grant. This is actually a very, very important papyrus that we will keep with us for this entire mission. 
Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 12. The builder gave thou the raw stuff of thy life. Make thou a great work of it, or thou mockest his gifts. I'm making a great work of it, stealing all your stuff. I'm in your Hammerite Temple, stealing your base. Meanest thou the action on DeWall's studs? Verily. Some have told me it was his own brethren who in sin didst turn him in. Thieves betray their own. Now as always. <coughs> now if you're careful here, you can take out these two quite quickly. go ahead and leave these two in here and it should be just fine as long as we leave the doors shut because we have taken out uh, the upstairs patrols I believe we have here the sacred skull of Saint Yora a builder of vision and devout keeper of the faith the first hammer symbol of our ascent from the trickster shadow Aha! we need this the Forge's Child. This hammer was the first to be cast out of a mold. It was brought into the world by Father Tenor, now sainted. Alright. Head over here and check out the rest of this area. Uh, library of sorts. What do we have here? Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 36. Okay, I'm actually going to stop reading that first part except for the volume, um, just because pretty much every book in this entire place repeats that same thing over and over again. It gets really annoying. Anyways, uh, time once passed, the harlot did say to the priest, Tarry a while and wait upon thy duties. And the priest did tarry. And then was the harlot scourged with birch branches, and was the priest crushed beneath the great gears. For the path of righteousness leads ever upwards to where it is perilous to fall. I see. So, um, if you screw up, they're gonna kill you. Great. What we got here? Temple authorization and access. Novices, as per the official books, are not permitted keys, and are not allowed to enter restricted areas for any reason. These areas are designated by the standard red inverted hammer. Temple guardsmen are not permitted keys, but may enter restricted areas in pursuit of their function. Basically, their function is to go kill thieves, so if a thief runs into a room, they can follow him. Temple priests will be issued keys to most areas, and are allowed in restricted rooms when authorized by the high priest. They are also, of course, allowed to enter their own quarters, but not the quarters of other priests. That's actually a very important fact that we will utilize. The High Priest is granted the Master Key, has no restriction to access, and will keep in his possession the holy symbol of the Temple. Also another important fact, there's a ton of books in here. Volume 108, Mortar cannot hold when the stone is not strong and clean. Before beginning thy endeavors, look to thy materials both physical and spiritual. <laughs> Volume 94 Guard thy tongue from falsehood, as thou guardest thy purse from a jack-a-blade. Guard thy hand from misdeed, as thou guardest thy house from firelighters. 
Guard thy heart from doubt, as thou guardest thy tools from corrosion, for thy faith and thy tools are the best that thou hast. A lot of books. Volume 141. When the builder came amongst his children and asked, Who is it that hath spoiled this work? Then didst his errant son answer, I do not know. Then didst the builder cast down his son and smite him with his hammer, for it is not known that a mistake may be mastered, but a lie lasteth forever on the tongue of the disbeliever. So basically, don't lie or you're going to get killed. Bad crap there. Volume 53. To use thy chisel is to blunt its edge against the stone. To not use thy chisel is to waste its edge. And finally, Volume 2. When the thief did cry to the master, Release me, for I repent, and I shall do good all my days. Then did the master strike the thief's hand from him with a blade. And the master said unto him, Go now and do good, for thy repentance has been paid. Well, that's great. He just got his hand chopped off. There we go. Here's one of those inverted red hammers, so we don't want to go into that room. Basically. <clears throat> now, this is basically a hammering temple. We're not going to go in there. Or, not a temple. I guess it's a chapel. But we're not going to go in there just now. Hast thought upon who is likely to succeed our master? Surely not for many years. Art thou blind? He is old, and the Master Forgers do jostle each other for precedence. I spy not on my betters, tis in the Builder's hands. Tis true, tis true. <coughs> You'll notice that there are quite a few different um, Hammerites going through these halls, so um, do be careful. But... These are also the rooms of the priests, so you can uh, take bodies in here and hide them as long as you don't get uh, get caught opening the doors. Got a nice little key and uh, our first bit of loot, as well as volume 77 of this long-ass book. What is a tree but a tower that withers and dies? What is a pond but a cistern that stagnates and fills with muck? What is a patch of ground but a road which cracks and washes away? Well, that was a really bleak number there. Now, if we're quick about it, we can normally get in and out of these rooms without being seen. And since no one goes in there, we can easily rob it without being caught. Now, there is some uh, nice loot here, but it's out in the open, so we're not going to take that just now. <laughs> 